Welcome to this video and audio news release from Recognition PR. Broadcasters, print outlets and other media platforms can use this content copyright free, provided it's set in appropriate context. Caroline Moody uh, runs Moody Logistics uh, in the northeast of England. Caroline, logistics, transport on trucks, obviously a very important uh, uh, occupation during this emergency in the country. What kind of issues have you been presented with this week? Um, it's kind of been business as usual for us, really. Um, been fairly busy with everything that we've been doing. What you've seen in the supermarkets are, I believe, has kind of happened and hit our industry too, with uh, lots of businesses, I think, trying to push things out the door and get them delivered to their customers quickly, knowing that uh, further restrictions were about to come along. Has the uh, prevalence of people to order things online uh, had a difference to how you are operating and, and has it caused you more business? Um, yes, some customers uh, have been a lot busier um, from online where again where it was um, got a particular bathroom company who uh, seemed to have had a huge influx of orders where people have obviously been preparing for uh, their time on their hands when they're at home so we've seen increases in some businesses like that. Similarly other businesses have, have, have died a death very quickly depending on the industry they're in and we've lost business there so we've probably remained constantly but slightly busier uh, than normal if you like right up until now. But according to my notes you did take on extra staff and you, you have been compared to some businesses that we have been hearing about in the media very uh, positive about continuing recruitment. Uh, yes I mean to get to, uh, to this point yes uh, we both recruited both in Moody's and in Heathline because of, we were growing before all this hit us anyway. So we didn't stop that recruitment process and decided we would carry on with it so that if we got a lot of sickness that gave us the ability, being in a, a, an industry that is expected to keep going and to keep the wheels turning as the saying goes, we wanted to be able to deliver for our customers and not be affected by not being able to with uh, staff being ill. What have been the sort of practical day-to-day -day challenges that you've faced, especially for your drivers? Uh, the drivers have had uh, some issues. It's a shame, especially some of the larger companies, very quickly clamped down and looked after their own staff and said, you know, drivers aren't allowed on site. And we've even had some of them being not allowed to use toilets, which really was not the way to go and handle this. You know, we're trying to deliver their goods for them. And the one thing you're asking drivers or we're asking the nation to do is to wash hands, to, to put a block on that for drivers to be able to do it, you know, uh, was, it's been very difficult. We downloaded a letter from the health authority who um, had written a letter for drivers in our situation that they could take to say, you know, they have a legal right to health and safety uh, right to be able to use toilet facilities uh, and that they were to be allowed to do so uh, in that respect. And you also, just to conclude, are part of a big organisation, 700 businesses, um, which is able to help the government in their logistics. Tell me about the organisation and how you've got involved. Yeah, well, we're an office member of uh, Palex and um, we're a shareholder member for them. And because of the nature of that industry where smaller items, one to four pallets, can be delivered anywhere in the UK very quickly the next day, this is ideal for you know, if people have got urgent deliveries and smaller volumes going out but urgent ones to allow that to be affected throughout the UK. So obviously they're pushing that market. Maybe places that where they had full loads and the could actually do it where, you know, they've got smaller amounts and still get the deliveries affected where they need to be on time. Well, Caroline, thanks for talking to us and keep trucking. Thank you very much.